now down here in the Premier League and the race for the top four. Goodness me, it looks like it's going to go right down to the wire. We've got Arsenal two points ahead of Spurs. They're still to meet in the North London derby. Do you think, Siobhan, that game could decide fourth place? I think it'll have a huge bearing on fourth place. It, it could decide it. But I think if you look at the fixtures that both sides have going into, into the, the, the end of the season, th there's, there's a lot of difficult fixtures in there. You, you see Le Liverpool, Newcastle. Um, there's, there's so many teams that, that both of them face that have got something to fight for, whether it's that they're on a roll, whether they're fighting for survival, fighting for, for the Premier League title. There's, there's, there's a lot more going on than just this fourth place race. And Jenna, you spent a very long time at Tottenham, didn't you, of course? So we'll know all about what it's like to be in and, in and around a club and, and what they're hoping to achieve and what a North London derby really means. Do you think it will come down to, to who wins on this, will come out on top in terms of the race for fourth? Yeah, I think I agree with Siobhan. I think it will have a huge bearing on it. I think, you know, given what is at stake, by the time that uh, the London Derby comes around at the new top, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium packed out, it's going to be absolutely buzzing there. And I think the crowd will have a huge, huge part to play. Um, you know, given the the odd season that Tottenham have had, it's been very inconsistent. But now they're still they're still in it. They're still fighting. They're still in the race, very much in the race. But as Siobhan said, there's so many. There's I mean, there's lots of twists and turns that could happen before the end of the season you know there's there's some tough tough fixtures for both mm. teams Arsenal have got two London derbies um which brings a whole new level of pressure and you know for Tottenham they've still got Liverpool to play and obviously that massive massive match at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium against Arsenal so yeah still a lot of football to play and I think we'll see a few twists and turns before the end of the season yeah let's have a look at where points could potentially be uh, picked up or dropped 15 points up for grabs over the, the, the next five games. So for Arsenal, they also have to take on West Ham's one of that London derby there. And teams, goodness me, it could be Everton battling for their lives, couldn't it, on the last day of the season. And then Siobhan's mentioned what Tottenham have to do. How do you think that is, is, is looking, Siobhan? Uh, do you think one has an advantage over the other? I don't think either of them have an easy run in. Both of them, you could say that their, their next games that are up and coming, they should be looking to win because they've got other priorities in Europe at the moment. But you look at Everton for that last game of the season that, that could potentially be fighting for their lives in the Premier League. They're not going to make that particularly easy for Arsenal. You look at playing at Newcastle away. St James's Park has been a fortress for them at the moment. Mm. Again, a difficult run. And, and then for Tottenham, they've got some difficult fixtures there as well. But all, all eyes will definitely be on the North London derby, I'm sure. Who do you think needs it, it more, Jenna? Well, I'm going to be totally biased here, aren't I? But I think both teams, you know, Arsenal, they, they, they're over the last couple of seasons, they've been underperforming as well. But for me, it, it, it's Tottenham. I'm going to stick with my club. I think that they've had a tough few seasons. There's been a lot of change. Um, but the quality that they've got within that team is phenomenal. You know, the attacking threats, I think, definitely, definitely need a top four finish to kick on next season and attract players to strengthen a really strong core group of players that they've already got. Yeah. And what do you think then, Siobhan? <laughs> West Ham, United still have a say in it or is it very much between Spurs and Arsenal? I've tried to be really positive in the last few weeks and say Manchester United can still get in there. They can still get the results to get into that top four. But I think you look at the fixtures that are, that are coming up, I think it, it's between Arsenal and Tottenham who gets that fourth place. Um, that They've got difficult fixtures coming up. But I think, I think at the moment, with the way forms go in, the way United are, are playing, I think it's going to be between Arsenal and Spurs.